Yes, guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY, your go-to place for hair system advice, tips, tutorials, and of course, my own personal insights. And today you're gonna to be getting some of those because it's the six month review of the La Vivid Tyler hair system. So we're gonna be breaking this down into four segments. We're gonna be breaking it down into realism. We're gonna be breaking it down to density, price, and comfort. So we're gonna be looking at the pros and the cons of each of those, and we're gonna be looking at what we're gonna do moving forward. But before we start, here's a quick message from today's sponsor. Today's sponsor, guys, is Livivid. You can find them at livividhair.com. You can get a 15% discount code on any stock hair system or accessories that I've negotiated with them just for you guys. It's Adam15. All the information is in the description box below this video. If you want high quality hair systems with good shipping times and top customer service, consider Livivid. Now let's start with realism. So six months into this system, the best way to judge realism is by looking at the hairline. So I've brought my paddle brush with me for this video and I'm gonna go up close to the camera so you can actually, and I'll give it a couple of seconds to focus. This actual system has been, well, it's about a week and a half since my last regroom and I will be taking it off and cleaning it today. As you can see, not bad. For six months, it's a French lace frontal and that is not bad. You can even, even the lace is actually still holding up pretty well there. Usually by six months, as a result of the cleaning every week or two weeks of the glue or the tape from the front of the system, usually the lace kind of starts coming apart. This lace is actually holding together quite well. Now, does it look as flawless as a Swiss lace or a French lace in its early days? Well, no, but it's important to remember this system is six months old. Its expected maximum lifespan is eight to 12 months. So it's holding up pretty well right now. You certainly wouldn't get this appearance from an ultra thin skin. Now, number two, let's consider density and shedding. So the density of this actual system is 100%, and that is really, really about the right kind of density you wanna be looking for if you're in your 20s or your 30s or maybe even your 40s. And the shedding has been minimal. Hardly any shedding happens with this system. I think that might be because the base in the middle is actually three layered. So the actual knots in the base are done really, really well, which reduces the shedding. And it is probably a reason why the system itself lasts so long. The con I would say is if you're in your 50s to your 60s, you might find that 100% is slightly too thick for you. Of course, it's not the end of the world because you could go to a custom system. And I do generally recommend custom systems for anyone who's 50 or above. Because your hair does tend to thin out a bit at that age, you do start to tend getting some greys and that kind of thing. So I'd say the pros, barely any shedding, density absolutely perfect for someone in their 20s or their 30s, maybe even their 40s. Anyone 50s or over, density is probably a bit too thick. Now, when we assess the price, it's $389. It can be a lot cheaper than that if you use my discount code when you order the system. But that is what you'd expect to pay for a system that can last four months, not a system that can last eight to 12 months. So I think you can already gauge that I'm massively on board with the price, comparing it to how long you'll get. So Le Vivid's Thor French Lace, you get like four months out of that. With this, you're paying an extra $80 but you're getting eight to 12 months. So in the time that you go through three French laces, you could have one Tyler system. Like you would save so much money. So for price, absolutely. I'm fully on board with what they're charging. I'm fully on board with this. It's a massive, massive money saver. And there's not even any cons to that. That's just pros. But last, we've got comfort. Now, the pros of this system is let's compare it with another system that's likely to last that long, which would be a monofilament base. Now I've tried monofilament, I've tried this system. This system is so much comfier, so much comfier than a monofilament. I could wear a monofilament for a day and I'd be itching so much I'd need to get it off my head. With this, I can wear it for seven to 10 days before I need to do a clean and rebond. Now the con is it's not as comfy as a French lace, a Swiss lace, or an ultra thin skin. It's not as comfy as those. I would put it on par in terms of comfort with a 0.08 to a 0.1 millimeter poly. And I've actually got one. My next one is the Coyus, which is that system. And I would put it on par with the comfort of that. And that's pretty comfortable. 
So let's now talk about the future with this hair system. I'm expecting to get at least another four months out of this. And if I can get to 12, I'm gonna do it. I'm six months in. In summary, it's pretty realistic. The hairline's pretty decent. Okay, it's not as good as a French or a Swiss lace in terms of realism, but it lasts a lot longer. It doesn't shed. The density is great for someone in their 20s or 30s. You might need something a bit lighter if you are over that age bracket. The price is fantastic. It's virtually on par with pretty much all other systems, but it lasts two to three times longer. And in terms of comfort, you can easily get seven to 10 days out of it. I mean, I wore this in the Caribbean where it was like, 90 Fahrenheit like every single day so it's pretty comfortable way more comfy than a monofilament not quite as comfy as a French lace or a Swiss lace and one last thing I didn't add earlier on in the video and it's a little reward for anyone who stuck through till the end is the blend I have put a semi-permanent dye in my hair after I got back from the Caribbean that was over a month ago but the actual color blend with my natural hair still looks pretty good so overall, pretty happy with it. I'm gonna be doing another video on this in about three months, the nine month review of the Tyler, but it's a system which I'm really happy with. It ticks a lot of boxes for me. And if you haven't got a system yet, and you're thinking about getting one, this is one I'd really recommend. Now, for anyone who might want to compare how this system looked four months ago, I'm putting a video up on the screen right now that was my two-month review of this system, so you can compare and contrast how the system looks then to how it looks now. I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised.